All right, take two. What is up, people? I am back, and last time I got really off track. But, um, let's go. So, I'm going to be telling you guys a story of how I broke my nose, and it's just fitting that I'm playing Escape 3 in the background. And the story of how I broke my nose pretty much is a story of a stupid kid doing stupid things. Like, like that was it. That was it. Um, here's a little backstory to it, though. Back when I was a kid, my mom would live in a lot and I mean a lot of different apartments. It was mostly for, you know, her job. And one time she uh, made too much money to live in a certain type of housing, so that so she had to move. And then since that day, it's been it's been moving, moving, moving. It's you know haven't had a permanent apartment for a little bit. But so one of the apartment complexes she uh, lived in was a very small one. You know. It, it wasn't too small, like, the apartments weren't small, but it's just, the complex itself was smaller than, you know, what I was used to. I was used to these big, bigger apartment complexes with, you know, a lot of people living in them. This one was not that. It was... <laughs> Aw, I thought I landed that. It was, well, smaller. That's, that's all I can really say about it. It was a lot smaller. It, it had a pool. It, let's go. All the people there were pretty nice, but... You know, it was smaller, and so we are going, um, so, you know, we're going, and I'm living there, and I'm hanging out with the neighbor, neighbor kids. The neighbor kids were, well, not my age, <laughs> let's just say that. They were, actually, they might have been my age. I was just really big for my age, so it didn't look like they were, but I, I don't remember if they were or not, because I just remember just towering over these kids. That's, uh, <laughs> That's, oh, come on. I just really remember towering over these kids. I want to hit that. Now, now I'm just like, I want to hit that. But, um, crap. But to this day, yeah, yeah, I was towered over these kids. I was like, back when I was hitting my growth spurts, I was like 12 and already five feet, I think. I slowed down since then. I'm only like 5'11", six foot now, but... <laughs> But yeah, and um, so I'm hanging out with these neighborhood kids, right? And I was towering over them. I was a behemoth. And <laughs> one of the kids lost their cat. And so we go around the... when We knew it was around the apartment somewhere because they saw it recently. So, you know, we go around and we, um, we start looking for it. And I think we find it. And that was nice. That was... And I, of course, I don't land it. <laughs> and we go around looking for it. And as we're looking, <laughs> and as we're looking for it, um, as we're looking for it, I'm pretty sure one of us finds it, so we try to trap it. And you know, I'm chasing it, trying to trap it into a corner or anything, and we eventually lead it out to the back in the parking lot. And to the back in this parking lot, it's this like little wooden bearing thing. They have some storage up. It's like there's a parking space, but at the end of the parking space, there's storage and everything. I don't know. I don't know what you'd call it. But yeah, it was it was a pretty interesting thing. So I'm running under this thing, and I don't see the wooden I don't see the wooden like bearings. I don't see these wooden bars that are going across it. And as you know, um, chasing this cat, I'm I'm crouching down because I'm taller than the thing. I already know I'm taller than the thing, but I just don't see the wooden bars under it. So I go and I straighten out my back a little bit because I'm crouched. Because I'm crouched at this point to try and catch the cat. But I straighten out my back a little bit and um let's go. And I hit one of these metal bars straight right in the face. And at the angle I could have hit it, my nose could have broken. If my nose would have broken straight, I'm pretty sure it would have went into my brain. So <laughs> So instead of breaking straight, it actually breaks and curves over to the left. And since, you know, it broke the curve over to the left, I was, well, I was good. I was, <laughs> I was in a lot of pain, but I was good. So I run inside at this point. I run inside crying because, you know, I was a little, I'm not going to say it, but I wasn't as tough as I am now. <laughs> and so, you know, I run inside and, and I, um, let's go. 
And I'm crying to my mom, like, Mom, I think I broke my nose. Can we go to the hospital? So she looks at it and she goes, Um, I don't think you broke your nose. You would have been crying if you broke your nose. So, you know, just, you would have had black eye. You would have had a bloody nose if you broke it. So just stay inside for the rest of the day and, you know, rest on it. So I rest on it. I, it, it hurts for a little bit, but eventually the pain subsides and I start getting used to it until I go back to school the next year. <laughs> and my friend asked me hey man what happened to your nose and i'm like what do you mean and he's like you have this giant bump on it this whole time i never noticed this giant bump on my face but you know i start feeling it and i can feel where like the bone broke i can feel where the bone broke it was needless to say an interesting i thought i would land that needless to say an interesting an interesting moment and yeah i can feel where the bone broke for the rest of my life like you know for since then till now i think it was middle school yeah it was middle school it was middle school when i started middle school from the start of middle school till now my nose has been broken <laughs> and yeah so for years and years and years my nose has been broken and I'm, i don't blame my mom for it but you know if we would have went to the hospital that day i think they would have been able to fix it it wasn't that bad of a break but now it's like permanent like instead of calcifying like, instead of, you know, just being a bunch of cartilage down there, the bone has calcified. Like, I have a calcified bone around my nose now. <laughs> like, you can still feel to this day where it broke. It's it's never, like, it never grew back right. It's just there. And I could have fixed it. I could have had a normal nose, but, eh, I like it. It's, it's part of who I am. And that's how I broke my nose. Chasing a cat hitting my face on the beam and why it has never been fixed as well i told my mom and she said i would have had a you know black eyes and well it's a bloody nose so eh, i guess i got lucky i didn't get black eyes or bloody nose out of it but unlucky due to the fact that now my nose is bigger than well a rhinoceros horn well, maybe not a giant rhinoceros, but, you know, a baby right now. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys enjoyed that story. I'm sorry if I uh, got off track a little bit because, you know, I was getting into the game, but... Eh. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the story, and hopefully I didn't bore you guys too much with it. I landed that? <laughs> this is seriously, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the story, and peace. What's up, people? I'm not gonna force you to, but like, favorite, subscribe if you want to. But remember, if you don't, I'm gonna fuck all y'all bitches.